it's fun. And what we're doing is we're promoting G&H Beauty Colleges out of the fair this year. We're giving free haircuts. I mean, if someone wanted their hair cut punk style, you'd cut it? Sure. I mean, mohawk and all? Whatever you'd like. I mean, if I wanted my hair dyed purple, I could come out to the fair and you'd dye my hair purple? Well, I wouldn't dye it at the fair purple, but at one of our schools we could. Oh, geez. <laughs> are you getting many people out there that are uh, actually getting their hair cut? Yes, a lot. You would be amazed how many people come up and would like their hair done. All different styles, too. Sounds pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Tell me about, okay, at the school, do you get, I know you probably get a lot of different people from bands and things like that to come into the school, you know, for different hairstyles. Mm -hmm. What kind of hairstyles is, a real current hairstyles that people should, what's the up and coming hairstyle today? Well, the up and coming right now is the, the spikes. A lot of spikes in the hair, short and spiky, especially for musicians, rock and roll musicians, punk musicians. Um, a lot of the ladies are coming in and getting the, getting perms the rock and roll hair style with the gypsy perm. Um, a, lot of, a lot of highlighting for the summer, coloring the hair is really nice. You know, I went to a hair styling convention, this is weird, over at the St. Clair Hotel a couple of weeks ago, put on by a hair styling magazine. And they had these people with these rods in their hair and it was really wild. I mean, I don't know what that's called, but it looked like something out of Star Wars. Fantasy hairstyles, that's when you get, that's when you really get to become an artist. You get to become you. You, you express what you, you really, your real feelings are. Boy, I would hate to not know what's going on and walk into one of those things blind. Because, <laughs> I mean, it was just outrageous. I mean, the clothes are okay. The clothes are about average. I mean, it's punk, you know, and everything else. Mm -hmm. Some of those hairstyles and the makeup totally threw people for a loop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was an experience. You guys have a big convention coming up anyway, don't you? It's a statewide convention? Uh, yes, we do downtown. It's going to be at the convention center. Mm -hmm. And what happens at there? I know well, you have competition. There's going to be hair cutting competition. There's going to be fantasy makeup competition. Um, there's going to be just ver various booths around. Dr. Neely is going to be there talking about Focus 21 vitamins. There's going to be vitamins there. Everything that you could think of it would have to do with styling. What's the most interesting thing that's happened to you going to beauty school? The most interesting thing that's happened to me. I mean, you meet a lot of people. Uh huh. I know you cut a lot of different heads. Uh huh. I think the most interesting thing for me is realizing that it's a profession, that it's an art, that it's an art, and really enjoying the people and having fun and doing their hair and making them look the best that they can, and they appreciate it, they love it, and I enjoy that. You have to go for X amount of hours, don't you, to get a license or something? 1,600 hours, and then you get your license. And then you can go out and try to uh, get a job in a hair styling place, or you can open up your own business if you have the money. Very lucrative business. There's so many places that you can go. You can go into makeup. You can go just into cutting hair. You can go just into color. I mean, there's many faucets. What are you going to be doing when you graduate? I'm going to be styling. I'm going to become a hair designer. I am a hair designer. How many <laughs> hours do you have left? I have about uh, 150 more hours to go. Which comes out to how many months? <laughs> 10 months. 10 months. Uh-huh. Okay, you're going to stay in San Jose and design here? Oh, yes, I'll stay in San Jose. I plan to work at a shop called Utopia. Ah, They're on Campbell Avenue. I've heard of them. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very innovative shop. Do you do intern type? Do you guys have to do internship too? Well, there's an assisting program, and then you take classes on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. And which, you're in the assisting program? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And there, I know you've been at the fair a lot. Oh, yes. I see yes, you out there all yes, the time. Yes, 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 yes. We're out there for g &H Beauty Colleges, and they have four colleges. Uh, Westgate, Willow Glen, Santa Clara, and Mountain View. And is it hard to get into, like, beauty school? Well, what you have to do is you have to go down and talk to the people at each college and you sign up for, there's lo student loans, you, there's grants, there's everything that you can possibly think of to help you to Just get like through school. Just like going to college. Exactly, exactly. And do they furnish you with all the equipment that you need? Do you have they to go out and buy your own? No, they furnish you with the equipment, but you do have to buy your own outfit, your own uniform. But everything else, they, they And it's like going to school for eight hours a day, or? It's Tuesday through Saturday, 8 to 4.30 every day. Uh. Sounds pretty grueling. <laughs> it could be, but actually there's so much to learn that the eight hours 
go by, and it's 1,600 hours. Well, when I came out to your school about a week ago, it was real interesting. I was watching, and these people were having problems with some of these mannequins that they had there. <laughs> and they were trying to do these wild things like curl, you know, curl hair and dye some of the things. It was, it was really funny watching them. Oh, we get to some experiment. of the girls were really getting frustrated. Mm-hmm. That's what's so much fun. We get to experiment there. We have mannequins that we work on, and we can braid them and color them and cut their hair, and they don't complain at all. What's the percentage of guys taking the courses versus females? I say the percentage is about 10% are men. We have about five or six to 70 women. <laughs> Why did you want to get into hairstyling? Well, I had tried different professions, secretarial work, accounting, and I needed something to really show my talent, my, my, art, that I, my art talent. So, I have a, my cousin and my aunt are stylists also, and so I decided to go into school. And I've loved every minute of it. I can't wait to get out. That's great. Mm -hmm. Seems like it's going to be a lot mm -hmm. of fun. Mm -hmm. what, what motivates like people to become hairstylists? You know, I mean, you know, some people have real funky hair, and other people have, you know, real nice hair, and some people have coarse hair. Why would you want to put your hands? You know, in people's <laughs> hair. It's not that bad. You shampoo it first, and you get it all ready, and you brush it out, and then you look at their face, and you say, wow, this person would look hot in this style, you know. And so you start molding, and you start cutting, and then it starts looking better and better, and the person starts smiling, and then by the time you're finished, it's a great reward. You know, I had a friend of mine. She's a model for uh, one of the modeling agencies here. She was at the convention I talked earlier about the St. Clair. Well, she had her hair cut. Problem is, whoever cut her hair cut it short. And she was mad. I mean, mad. This lady was pissed. And she finally called me up yesterday and said she finally had enough nerve to go out because her hair grew back. She went swimming or something. And her hair, you know, grew back a little. But she was fit to be tied because whoever cut her hair didn't cut it the way she wanted. What was this for now? Oh. It was just that hairstyling convention they had. Oh, over yeah. When you get Claire. your hair done at a hairstyling convention, you the hairstylists want to show off a little bit. So they're going to do what they want. So you have no control over it.